Growing up, sort of experiencing racism has probably made me more proud of who I am and where I'm from. After something's been said, they realise and then when they take the time to actually think about what they're saying and what damage it might cause to, to another person. I think in strengths and all over the world, the racism exists. So every job, every, every sport, it's real. Yeah, Black History Month is like people that have been miseducated on, on black history, a, yeah. a chance for them to be, be educated um, and also a celebration as well yeah. to the younger generation that are coming up and then yeah. inspiring, yeah. inspiring the generation to come. So yeah, that, that's probably what History Month means to me. People view this country as being the perfect society and, they, and as a part of that, a lot of people think racism is something that ended in like 19... 74 or something like that and as a result unless you actually called the n-word or called a particular word you actually haven't experienced racism so i'd be interested to sort of get your view on what what how france sees racism and uh, yeah and just what it was like growing yeah just being a black man growing up in france i guess i think the people outside of france can think maybe in france the racism is not um it's not real there you know yeah. but uh but it, you you realize when you live there uh, the racism is everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere. Um, so yeah, I think it's pretty pretty the same than than England. Mm. The thing I normally get is someone will ask me what my career is, and I'll tell them what my career is, and they're like, "Oh, you do that?" I'm very comfortable with who I am, and mm. I champion my culture, and I I don't try to hide that. And a lot of people will see that as a, "Oh, someone like you does that?" Oh, I don't know. Like, and, and, Weirdly enough, I sort of relished your opportunity to be like, yeah, of course someone like me does this. What do you think, what do you think I'd, I'd be a rapper? No, like, yeah. as, as a black person, we're all smart enough to be able to become lawyers. We're all, you know, we're all physical enough and yeah, athletic yeah, yeah. to become football players if we want to. We can do whatever we want to do, sort of thing. It's important because people like you can open us also other window yeah. for people like, uh, for example, me, I think, uh, when you're young, you think about to be a professional player or something yeah. like this, but you have also another way to to, to, exactly. to be success, you know? yeah. successful, so yeah, it's good. Cool. And, and just success isn't just the job, it's like you got, we were talking earlier yeah. on off camera, but like you guys being fathers and yeah, exactly, being exactly. there for your kids Same. and showing them that they can do whatever they want to do. And Same. like you said, your dad was the, the most positive role model you've had. That's yeah. it. So yeah. That's true, that's true. But my biggest success is not to be a professional player. No. Yeah. It's to be a father. Yeah, yeah exactly. To yeah. have a family. So yeah, that's true. Sure. I don't know about you guys, but mm. I found as growing up, sort of experiencing racism, has probably made me more proud of who I am and mm -hmm. where I'm from. Hundred percent. So when you, especially when you sort of, so in school, like as I said, I was probably the only black kid that I went to school with. But when I went to university, I sort of found a, a group, a large group of black people, and you sort mm. of become friends with them, and then you sort of discover they sort of have similar backgrounds to you, with African or. Caribbean heritage and then you yeah you sort of become more proud in who you were because at school you sort of were bullied for who you were and right. you find acceptance in, in that growing up uh, yeah so definitely it builds character but at the same time it also makes you sort of prouder yeah, exactly. even like um, you are. like sometimes you might be walking down the street you see a, see another black person you just nod yeah just, <laughs> just, just normally just as a nod like yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if, if non-black people know about the random black guy is not, but it's a thing. If you're, yeah. if you're, especially if you're in a, in a, in a city where you're, there's not that many black people, or you're in, a, in an environment where there's not that many black people, if you catch on with that one black person, you might just give them a little. Definitely. Just yeah, a little bit, yeah. I know the experience is <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah. As a culture, we influence so much. Mm. So true. So much from fashion to, so true. to education. And um, yeah, it's just inspiring. And I, I, I look at that and um, yeah, it inspires me in my role that I yeah. do for myself, try to be the best role model that I can be as well. Yeah. I think in strengths and all over the world, the racism exists. So mm. uh, you can see the racism around you and, and um, in every, every job, every, every sport. Um, so, so yeah, I think it's, it's real. We need to sort of use this month to be able to say there's loads of black icons in this country that have achieved loads and loads of good things, whether it be politicians, sports players, musicians, being able to use this month to be able to say, look, these people have done this, and let's celebrate them for what they've done. I hope um, 
that people uh, will respect each other, um, regardless your origin or, or your skin color. Mm. I think, yeah, yeah, that's classic answer, but I think, yeah, it's uh, the most important. Mm.